Hello everybody and good morning. Welcome back to another reaction video. My name is Joker and today we have something that I think is probably one of the most special things I've ever gotten to do. We are reacting to the first official trailer for Ghostbusters 3 Afterlife. This is a really big deal for me. When the news first dropped that they were going to have an official Ghostbusters 3 that was a sequel to the 89 film, I was through the roof excited simply because this was the first movie that I ever actually uh, discussed on my channel. I had done like one or two reaction videos before. I think the first one I did was Spider-Man Far From Home. But this, but the first news video I did on Ghostbusters actually like broke all of my viewing records and that was like, okay, maybe I could do something with this. And I've been doing all the movie content ever since. So I guess in a way of saying like, if it wasn't really for this movie, I wouldn't have thought, you know, maybe I can just keep going with this movie new stuff. And I absolutely love doing it to this day. So now we get to find out what's going on in Ghostbusters Afterlife after all these years of waiting. Diehard fans of the series wanted a third entry for the longest time, but I grew up with them. I've watched them since I was a kid. I wanted nothing more than a Ghostbusters 3 to go along with the other two. We did eventually get the video game, which was the unofficial third entry, which was a really good story. And then of course we had the reboot in 2016 that was not great. I have nothing wrong with who was in it and the cast doesn't bother me. I just thought the story was very poor. But now we have from Jason Reitman, son of Ivan Reitman, the original director for Ghostbusters 1 and 2, coming back into the directing chair to direct Ghostbusters 3. We've got Dan Aykroyd, Bill Murray, Ernie Hudson, and Sigourney Weaver coming back. We've got a whole bunch of new characters, including Paul Rudd. So let's see this trailer. I wonder what they're doing with the fact that Harold Ramis has passed, but let's just get right into it. Oh man, I've never actually been nervous to watch a trailer before. Because I just, like, I don't know what to expect from this. And here we go. Okay. What are you doing here in Somerville, anyway? Somerville. Honestly, oh, I Stranger Things. It, but we're completely broke. And the only thing that's left in our name is this creepy old farmhouse our grandfather left us. That's a bit creepy. Family. Grandfather? Okay. Why'd you bring me up here? Entertainment value? <laughs> what is that? I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. Somehow, a town that isn't anywhere near a tectonic plate, that has no fault lines, no fracking, no loud music even, is shaking on a daily basis. Hmm. Under the dining table now! Oh, I saw the books all stacked there. Hey, remember that one summer we died under a table? <laughs> I found this in my living room. Whoa, killer replica. A replica of what? A ghost trap? Oh, there's the music. Oh, there's this looks so good. 30 years. New York in the 80s? It's like The Walking Dead. Yes. Your dad never mentioned this to you? It's just my mom. Oh. My grandfather died. My mom says we're just here to pick the PKE up once meter. Left. Oh, there's. Yep. Wait a minute. Who are you? Yep, Spangler, grandfather. Call it a Shandor Minings. Shandor Ego Evo Shandor. Call it Karma. karma. Yo. Come on, darling. Oh, please do it. Please. <laughs> he has a gunner seat? Yes! I just wanted to hear that noise. Okay, I think that's very smart. We don't see anything from the original cast. That's something you say for a second trailer or just wait for the movie itself because we know they're in the movie. We don't know exactly what kind of role they're taking. 
Now, I can already see that this movie could possibly get a lot of flack because it is a younger cast, but from what I understand, and from what everyone's been talking about for the past, I don't know, 20 years at this rate, was that it was always kind of thought that when Dan Aykroyd would write a script for Ghostbusters 3 that we would actually get a younger cast coming in to take up the mantle from the original Ghostbusters. So we're not going to see anything from the original cast just yet, they are confirmed to be in the film in some way, shape, or form. But it looks like we're going to have to wait just a little bit longer to see exactly what they're going to be doing. But there's so much in this trailer. It looks like we got a little bit of the Hellhound. We've seen the Proton Packs. We've seen the Ghost Catcher. We got the Ecto-1. It's Egon's granddaughter. That's really cool. I think that's a really nice way to tie that in since Harold Ramis is no longer with us. But what else do we got? We've got Evo Shandor. So we got Shandor's Mining. And I think, if I, if I heard correctly, this takes place in Oklahoma, so this is way away from New York, which is interesting. But, oh, there was just so much. I'm definitely going to be doing a breakdown and just more of a review of this trailer at some point. Because there is so much in here, and I got every little piece of it, and that makes me super excited, like, as the biggest nerd I am. But what did you guys think? Do you like Ghostbusters 3 Afterlife? Is this something you're excited for? Do you think it's a little weird? Do you prefer more of the original cast and not so much the new cast? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I want to talk about it. But until we get any other news on this movie, and I'm sure we're going to get so much more that you guarantee I will cover, that is going to be it for this video, guys. Remember, if you like what you saw, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more reaction videos or if you'd like to see anything else. But until then, and as always, just remind yourself of who you're going to call, and I will see you guys next time.